Hi everyone, so I've got good news. It's here. You can finally take your face and put it into a mid-journey image. And I'm not talking about using Photoshop or like uploading a selfie and re-rolling 3000 times and hoping you get lucky. No, this is all done in mid-journey and it is super easy. So check it out. This is an image of Indiana Jones. The prompt here was cinematic still, 1940s pulp hero, Indiana Jones, just called him right out. Jungle adventure, aspect ratio, 16.9. And now me as Indiana Jones, which is definitely fulfilling some sort of lifelong childhood fantasy of mine. Hey, just notice short rounds back there. All right, buckle up, we're going for a ride. So this is Insight Face, which is an open source library for 2D and 3D face analysis. If you haven't worked with plugins yet, don't stress, it's super simple and I'm gonna walk you through everything. The first thing you'll wanna do is create a new server in Discord. It's very easy to do, I'm gonna very briefly explain it. You just come down and hit this add a server button. That'll create a pop-up, create your own server. Just put for me and my friends, it's really just for you and then name it whatever you want. In this case, we're gonna call it uh, Insight Face. Insight Face. Uh, you don't need to upload a picture, but you can if you want to. Hit Create, and you're pretty much done. You will then want to click on the link that I left below, uh, which will pop up a browser window that looks like this. Um, all you have to do is add it to your server. In this case, uh, we do go down to Insight Face, and hit continue. After going through a human check, you should be authorized and you can close this window down and head back over to Discord. You'll also want to invite the mid-journey bot over to your new server. Otherwise, your forward slash imagine commands aren't gonna do anything. To do that, just head over to mid-journey, go into any one of the rooms where images are being created. Uh, in this case, I'm just in newbies 50. Um, find the mid-journey bot who never sleeps. Over on the sidebar, right click on him, hit profile, and then add to server here. And now it's the same process. You just add the Midjourney bot to your new server, hit continue, hit continue again or authorize again, and off we go. The next thing we'll need to do is give the Insight bot a face to swap. Um, so you do so by creating an ID. Um, so just come down to general and forward slash save ID, which will give you a prompt to upload an image. Trying to be as ethical as I can about this, I'm just gonna use an image of myself. This is the profile pic that I generally kind of always use. This was just taken on an iPhone at one of those like selfie stand things. Um, it was actually taken by my daughter. You can see that the background is actually just a backdrop. So, but I usually crop it in, it works fine. So let's load that into Insight Face. At that point, you're going to need to name your character. Um, it can be anything that you want. I'm just gonna say me. Apparently the character limit is eight. Um, so if you've got a much longer name, just shorten it down. Hit enter and you can see ID name me has been created. So at this point, you're ready to just start generating images. As a quick FYI, the documentation states that the image that you supply to Insight Face should be forward facing. You should not be wearing glasses and they don't want bangs. I don't know, apparently bangs kind of screw something up. So they also say high quality. That profile pic image that I used has been crunched down a couple of times uh, via compression. And it's not the greatest quality, but it still seems to work. But you know, obviously if you can aim for the highest quality image that you can get. So continuing on with childhood fantasies, uh, here is cinematic still Superman flying in the air with an aspect ratio of 16.9. Obviously it very much leans into Henry Cavill uh, and the Zack Snyder Superman. So all we have to do from here is choose one of the images and upscale it. Um, I'm gonna pick that third one because that looks sort of the most realistic in terms of face and skin tone. Once it's upscaled, we just come over to these three dots over here, come down to apps, and run in Swapper. And after a moment, here you go. Yeah, this looks really, really good. Slightly disturbing for me, but from a technical standpoint, it looks very good. The skin tones are consistent. The lighting stays consistent. This is something that would take like a pretty significant amount of time to do in Photoshop. Here we did it in, I think it generated in about a, like less than a minute, like I would say 40 seconds or so. Okay, let's take a look at a few more and then I'm gonna show you a few limitations. For this test, I was kind of aiming for a Royal Tannenbaum's feel. So I prompted cinematic still, Wes Anderson film, Ben Stiller wearing a jogging suit with an aspect ratio of 16.9 and got something that relatively looks like you know, Ben Stiller and the Royal Tannenbaums. Running Insight Face gets us this image, which does look like me in a Wes Anderson movie. Super weird. 
I also decided to hilariously run photograph male dark hair, heavy weightlifter, gym, massive barbell, big muscles at an aspect ratio of 16.9 and got this monstrous piece of meat. And Insight Face gives us this, which cracks me up. I actually sent a picture of this over to my wife and she just wrote back, no. So I wanted to test to see if you could do more than just photographic images with this as well. So I prompted highly detailed painting style by Andrew Wyeth. Andrew Wyeth being the painter who did the fairly famous Christina's World painting, a farmer in a rural field with an aspect ratio of 16.9 and got this, which looks very much in line with an Andrew Wyeth painting. So let's run the face swap on that and we get this, which works and also gives me a slight sense of existential dread. Um, but yeah, that, really works. I will have more hair than that when I get to that age. I will. That last image actually weirded me out so much that I just rolled Young Farmer and got this image and running face swap on that. Got us this, which is actually equally as disturbing in my opinion. Um, this is like, this boy has seen some hard times, some very hard times. There are limits when you're working with an illustrative style though. Uh, for example, in this one, I went with illustrative style, male cyberpunk hero, intense gaze, city street. And then actually in previous roles, it was giving me a lot of sunglasses, which I didn't want. So I did no glasses, sunglasses. And this is the image that we got. Running insight face gets us this, which looks good. I mean, it does look like me as some like 80, cyberpunk hero. Um, but if you look, uh, the skin tones are definitely much more in a photo-ish tone, whereas the original definitely had much more of an illustrative brushstroke style to it. There's probably a fix that you can do by merging both images in Photoshop, but, but right out of the box, it's not doing that yet. That said, I did look through the change logs and it looks like the Insight developers are very much working on this. So maybe we'll see sliders happening at some point or another. And finally, if you start getting very stylized or abstract with it, such as in this case where I ran comic book uh, style by Darwin Cook, 60s Spy, James Bond, Casino, and ran Insight on that, it just pretty much returned the exact same image back to me. But where I think things start to get really interesting is when you use your own images as image prompts. I was messing around with the idea of trying to create, you know, a mid-journey avatar to use in thumbnails and whatnot. Um, it never quite worked out. Like in this case, um, running the prompt just kind of makes me look like Mark Replier's older, less successful brother. Um, but applying insight phase to this gets us here, which it also dropped a couple of pounds off me. I thank you mid journey for that. Um, there is the problem with the hand, but again, through subsequent roles, I could probably get that worked out. But yeah, not bad. On the business development side, running the prompt photograph, male businessman, LinkedIn profile picture, headshot got me this image, and then face swapping it out got me this image. I don't know if this guy looks like me. He looks way more serious than I am. But I think if I spend a little more time doing some re-rolls and getting a better base image, image face could probably make a fairly convincing LinkedIn profile picture for me. Beards also sometimes become an issue. Um, this was a Jedi Knight that I rolled up, um, sort of very Ewan McGregor-esque, um, but he's got that sort of, you know, light beard here. And then when I ran face swap on that, it kind of gave me a weird sort of peach fuzz beard here. It looks like it just got really confused um, with what to do with that beard. Similarly, here was another Jedi Knight with a full beard and when I ran Insight Face, it gave me this, which was kind of distorted here and there. I don't know if it was because of the lightsaber light confusing the bot in terms of like where to paste the face, but yeah, that's a little ugly. I should also note that the Insight bot doesn't re-roll anything. So if you take that initial image and you run it again, you will just end up with the same image. It also seems to struggle with extreme expressions for going back to our weightlifter again. Um, by the way, this guy's form is completely wrong. He's probably gonna end up breaking his wrists. Um, he's clearly in a lot of pain or struggling very hard here. So running insight face on this gets us, gets us this, which you can see there are some problems with, like it, it really kind of smudged out the side of the mouth here. I mean, granted, that's a pretty extreme expression. So I guess the takeaway is as long as you're not asking the Insight Face bot to lift this heavy, you should be fine. But as I mentioned earlier, the Insight Face team is still actively developing this. So I would only expect this to get better. In the meantime, please do face swap responsibly. Thank you for watching. My name's Tim.